Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on influence line diagrams. Let us read the question one time. For the overhanging girder AB shown in the figure, draw the influence lines for the following support reaction for A, support reaction for B, shear force and BM at E. In addition to this, we have to do these two. Shear force to the left and right of B, bending movement at B, shear force and BM at F, bending movement at A, and finally shear force to the left and right of A. Let us keep the length of the beam as L, length of left side overhanging as A, and the length of right side overhanging as B. This is the ILD for RA. This is the ILD for RB. This is the ILD for the shear force in the point E. This is the ILD for the movement in the point E. Now let us do the solution for this question. If two wheel loads 200 kN and 80 kN spaced 1 meter apart, roll on the girder. Find the maximum positive and negative shear force and bending movement at the section E. Any wheel load can lead each other. Two wheel loads are given 280. They are spaced at 1 meter. Now we are going to find the maximum positive shear force. There are two rectangles where there is a positive shear force. This rectangle is smaller than this one. So to get the maximum positive shear force, we have to keep 200 kN in the point C. We need to find this height. For the distance of 5 meter, the height is 0.625. So for 5, it is 0.625. We need the height at the distance of 4 meter. So we have to multiply with the 4. In this way, we will get the height as 0.5. To get the maximum positive shear force, we have to multiply 200 with the height 0.625, then 80 with the height 0.5, then we have to add both of them. In this way, we will get 165 kN. In the similar way, to get the maximum negative shear force, we have to keep 200 kN at just left of E. We need to find this height. For the distance of 5 meter, the height is 0.625. So for 5, it is 0.625. But we need the height at the distance of 4 meter. We have to multiply with the 4. In this way, we will get this height as 0.5. We need to multiply 200 with 0.625 and 80 with 0.5. Then we have to add. In this way, we will get 165 kN. Now we are going to find the maximum positive bending moment. We have to keep 200 kN exactly in the point E. 80 kN we have to keep either on the left side or on the right side. If we keep on the right side, the height will be less. But here the height will be more. So we have to keep 80 on the left side. We need to find this height. For 5 meter, the height is 1.875, but we need the height for the distance of 4 meter. In this way, we will get this height as 1.5. To get the maximum positive bending moment, we have to multiply 80 with 1.5 plus 200 into 1.875. In this way, we will get 495 kN meter. Now we are going to find the maximum negative bending moment. There are two rectangles where there is negative bending moment. This height is higher than this height. In this case, we have to keep 200 kN in the point D. We have to find this height for the distance of 4. The height is 2.5. But we need the height at the distance of 3. In this way, we will get 1.875. To get the maximum negative bending moment, we have to multiply 80 with 
and 200 with 2.5 and then we have to add in this way we will get 650 kilo newton meter now let us solve this question if you distribute a live load of 80 kilo newton per meter run occupy any position on the guider either continuously or in patches find the maximum positive and negative shear force and bending moment at the section marked e first let us find the maximum positive shear force we know that in two triangles there is a positive shear force so we have to keep the udl in patches like this we need to find the area of this triangle the area of this triangle is this and then we have to multiply with the udl in the similar way we have to find the area of this triangle this is the area of the triangle and we have to multiply with the udl after adding these two we will get 170 kilo newton to find the maximum negative shear force we have to keep the udl in patches like this then we need to find the area of this triangle and the area of this triangle and then multiply with the udl when we add these two we will get 205 kilo newton to find the maximum positive bending moment we have to keep the udl like this and then we have to find the area of the triangle and then multiply with the 80 we will get 600 kilo newton meter now let us find the maximum negative bending moment in two triangles there is a negative bending moment so we have to keep the udl like this and we need to find the area of the triangles and then multiply with the udl when we add these two we will get 775 kilo newton meter this is the ild for the shear force in the point f this is the ild for the moment in the point f this is the ild for the shear force to the right of b this is the ild for the shear force to the left of b this is the ild for mb this is the ild for ma this is the ild for the shear force to the left of a this is the ild for the shear force to the right of a now we are going to end this session Thank you for watching this video.